We will now talk about the sprinkler systems, uh, not just the 1 of 8 decoder, but how we build the 1 of 4 decoders uh, to make a 1 of 8 decoder. So, for a 1 of 8 decoder, when you have a 1 of 8 decoder, you have three inputs, let's say C0, C1, and C2, and you have eight outputs from 0 to 7. And C0 is your most significant bit that changes slowest, and C2 is your least significant bit. So let's say we have two one of four decoders. This time you would have only two inputs and you would have an enable input. So this is your zero and one, zero and one, and this is your enable. And you have four outputs. So C1 and C2, since these are changing all the time, and what we need to do, we need to find a way to select one decoder at a time. And if we use the MSP, then we can we can do that. So let's say this is your if this is your C0 coming to to this one, then if you invert this input and put it into the other decoder, you can then select either this one or this one. And since when you have your inputs 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and so on and so forth, when you take this bit out of the loop, basically everything is going to be the same here and here. So you can put C1 and C2 as your inputs. And instead of instead of showing them like this, uh, like different inputs, you can basically put them you can connect them and you say this is C1 and this is your C2 one question uh, in the midterm project was to instead of selecting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7 every sprinkler system what if we only want to select every other so there are three different options that you could have I, I think of you can maybe think of more so the first one what if you use only one one of four decoder instead of one of eight decoder this way instead of 1 of 8 this way you can just select 4 of them but that would require changing the circuit completely Th another option would be to use same 1 of 8 decoder but you can connect if this is your 0 and this is your 1 two three this can go to your sprinkler system directly but the other one can be a can go through an AND gate so this would generate an always zero so you would not select this one so this is the other way another way is with the uh, uh, much uh, simpler if you think about that so you have your inputs C0 C1 and C2 and C2 always changes 0 
so zero 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 one zero one zero so if you set this one to always zero if this is always zero you don't necessarily change anything uh, you don't necessarily need to change anything in the circuit but just set that particular input uh, to zero so this is this is zero you do it here by setting this equal to zero then your inputs will be this is zero and this is still zero this is now z this is zero and this is one but it's still getting the same inputs and this one would be two and then four so you would select zero two four eight by just setting one bit to, to zero